The news went crazy the other day. The news went crazy the other day. Shreveport, Louisiana, Jackson, Mississippi, Savannah, Georgia, Jacksonville, Florida. Text me Monday for the details. Joe Biden has allocated $20 million for new crack pipes to be brought into the black community so the chemically addicted brothers and sisters can have a clean high. Let me say it again. $20 million for crack pipes so addicts can get high safe. And he's doing it in the name of racial equality. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And you Negroes still won't get off the Democratic Party plantation. You Negroes still won't get off the Democratic Party plantation. You Negroes still will not get off the Democratic Party plant. $20 million for crack pipes. Do you know how racist that is? Do you know how insulting that is? Do you know how disrespectful that is? Do you know how throwback Joe that is? You mean to tell me that the same man who engineered the 1994 Bill Clinton crime bill, the same man who engineered the 1994 Bill Clinton crime bill locking you up for drugs, locking you up for drugs, comes back, comes back 30 years later, 28 years, but I'm gonna round it off. He comes back 30 years later after he'd have locked up more black men in history. He comes back 30 years later and now he's gonna give you $20 million to distribute crack pipes through the black community and you Negroes still don't believe the CIA brought crack into the neighborhood. Y'all still don't believe Freeway Ricky Ross. Y'all still don't believe Freeway Ricky Ross. Joe Biden is going to give you brand new crack pipes with a U.S. government stamp on them. You can get a crack pipe with a U.S. government stamp from the president of the United States, but you can't get no school. You can't get no job. You can't get out of jail. You can't put a stop to police genocide. You can't reverse gentrification. You can't do nothing about economic apartheid, but you can get a crack pipe from Crazy Joe with a government stamp on it. You know why this is so sad? $20 million is at least two or three small schools, brand new schools for our children. $20 million, that's at least 200 jobs, well-paying jobs. Why not take that money and put black men to work? Why not take that money and get these homeless black people off the street? Why not take that money and build black businesses? Why not take that $20 million and open up some institutions, but you want to spend $20 million on crack pipes. And check this. Check this. I haven't heard the Congressional Black Caucus say one word about it. I haven't heard the Congressional Black Caucus say one word about it. I haven't heard the Congressional Black Caucus say one word about $20 million for crack pipes. If you're going to give out the crack pipe, that means you have to make sure they have crack to smoke. Understand, understand, overstand. Understand, understand, overstand. If you're going to give $20 million for crack pipes, do you know what that means? That means that you have to guarantee that they're going to get some crack to smoke with the pipe. Because there must be a demand for the supply. So if Crazy Joe is guaranteeing black folks 
20 million dollars worth of crack pipes, he must also be guaranteeing you a hundred million dollars worth of crack. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have, if you're going to guarantee me a pipe, that means you know something I don't know. If you can put 20 million dollars in crack pipes out in the hood, doesn't that mean Crazy Joe must know that he got a hundred million dollars worth of new crack coming into the ghetto. I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to take it a step further because we're in the age of chemical warfare. So if Joe Biden is going to spend 20 million on crack pipes, 20 million on crack pipes in the name of racial equality. Lord have mercy. How disrespectful can you be? How disrespectful? He said, I'm not going to give you real estate equality. I'm not going to give you political equality. I'm not going to give you economic equality. I'm not going to give you educational equality, but I will give you crack pipe equality. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. I'm not going to give you economic equality. I'm not going to give you political equality. I'm not going to give your children academic equality, but I will make sure you have an equal number of crack pipes that you can smoke. Stay with me. Is it possible that they're giving out those crack pipes? Is it possible that they're giving out those crack pipes? Is it possible that they're giving out those crack pipes because they got a special shipment of crack coming to the black community that's going to devastate our chemically addicted brothers and sisters and put they damn lights out. Listen to me. The crack pipes is a setup. It is a setup for a mass biochemical warfare campaign against the undesirables. Oh, yes. Think about it. Think about it. Let's think about it. Who cares about the homeless drug addicts? Let's think about it. Who care about the prostitutes selling themselves for drugs? Who cares about the black community don't care about them. black church don't do nothing for them. Barack Obama didn't care about him. All he talked about was middle class. All he kept saying was middle class. They let white folks know he wasn't talking about black people. Middle class was Barack Obama's cold word for non-Negro Americans. Middle class was Barack Obama's cold word for non-Negro Americans. Middle class was Barack Obama's cold word for non-Negro Americans. Nobody care about the black homeless. And by the way, black people are suffering homelessness in record levels right now. COVID and the loss of jobs and the setback of the economy, more black people are unemployed and homeless than in a long time. So all these homeless people are getting high to cope with their new lifestyle. All these newly homeless black people are getting high to cope with the stress of their new lifestyle. And your president ain't going to get them a job. Your president ain't going to get them a house. Your president ain't going to get them no real treatment. Instead, he's going to send them some new crack pipes. And I believe that the government has a new shipment. I believe the government has a new shipment of crack that is going to have a special configuration, a chemical variant in the new shipment of crack that's going to flood the ghetto. I ain't been wrong yet. I ain't been wrong on a prediction in 20 years. I'm the most politically accurate predictor you know. I ain't got it wrong yet. I'm telling you right now, they're going to put the crack pipes out. Then they're going to push a whole new variant of crack, a, a type of crack we ain't seen. This new crack... This new crack you about to get from the CIA, this new crack you about to get from the CIA is going to be unlike nothing you saw. And it's going to knock these brothers and sisters right on their ass. It's going to knock them right on their ass. 20 million for the pipes, a whole new fresh set of dope, a whole new fresh shipment of dope. 
They're going to flood the black community with dope like they did during the era of the Black Panthers. They're going to flood the black community with dope like they did during the era of the Black Panthers. One of the reasons the CIA brought the crack in the 1980s was to make sure they decimated and destroyed the last legacy of the black power, Black Panther liberation, and the support that they received from the community. Let us be clear. The black community is still, still suffering the impact of the 1980s, 1990s, 2000, 2010, 2020 crack epidemic. We are still real. We have not caught our balance since we got hit with that right hand of crack in the 1980s. And now they're about to hit us with a whole new, a whole new level of crack. Brothers and sisters, we better get ready. Brothers and sisters, we better get ready. They're not playing with us. This is the setup for the setback. I cannot believe the Congressional Black Caucus, the Urban League, the NAACP, the Divine Nine, the Black Churches, the community-based groups. I don't hear nobody protesting $20 million for clean government-issued crack pipes in the ghetto, in the name of racial equality. Lord have mercy. And you are still on the Democratic Party plantation. You are still on the Democratic Party plantation. Listen to this. Listen to this. The Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration is now accepting applications for the first ever First ever, first ever harm reduction grant program. We will issue $30 million in grants. This funding authorized by the American Rescue Plan will help increase access to a range of community harm reduction services. Y'all hear that? Harm reduction services. If you want to reduce harm, Give us some damn jobs. You want to reduce harm? Get people off the street. You want to reduce harm? Give people a house. That's how you reduce harm. Not giving out crack pipes. Let's continue. As they work to help prevent overdose deaths, reduce health risks associated with drug use. We will accept application from state, local, tribal, and territorial governments. With overdose deaths exceeding 100,000 over 10-month period for the first time, this funding opportunity will provide support for those working in communities to reduce the harm of drug use. Providing funding and support for innovative harm reduction is in line with the Joe Biden, Kamala Harris administration's ongoing effort to address the overdose epidemic. Wow. We're going to deal with drug addiction by giving you more access to drugs. Can I ask you guys a question? Do you not get arrested for possession of any amount of crack? Didn't Joe Biden write a law in 1994, the Bill Clinton crime bill that arrests you for any amount of crack? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. The police catch you with crack. They can arrest you with any amount of the illegal substance. So if you can go to jail for possessing crack, I'm absolutely serious, Sister Lanisa Turner. Go to HH. What is it? hhs.gov and read it for yourself. Go to hhs, human, health and human services.gov, G-O-V. You know the website. Go check it out. But here's what I'm saying. If you can go to jail for possession of any amount of crack, if you get a pipe from Joe Biden and the police roll up on you while you smoking crack and the police catch you with the crack, don't you still go to jail? 
Are you exempt from going to jail if you smoke crack with Joe Biden's pipe? I'm asking y'all a question. Are you exempt from going to jail if you smoke crack with Joe Biden's pipe? Because if you are not exempt from going to jail for smoking crack with Joe Biden's government issued crack pipe, that means Joe Biden is setting you up to go to jail. I'm just asking a question. I'm just asking a question. If you can go to jail for possession of crack and Joe Biden is giving you a crack pipe, is he not aiding and abetting in criminal behavior? Is Joe Biden, the president of the United States, so-called leader of the free world, is he not aiding and abiding criminal activity by giving you a government issue crack pipe to smoke and illegal substances. Where the black lawyers at? Where the black lawyers at? Where are the black lawyers at? Can Joe Biden be charged with aiding and abetting criminal behavior and drug activity and drug possession and drug use by giving out crack pipes in the black community? Can he be charged as an accomplice? Is he not guilty of aiding and abetting? It's a setup as part of our gentrification. Remember, all systems of white supremacy are coordinated and collaborated. All systems of white supremacy are coordinated and collaborated. All systems of white supremacy are coordinated and collaborated. So if they're trying to take back the ghetto, they want to get all the homeless people out. How do you get rid of people who don't have a home? How do you get rid of people who don't have a home? You kill them off. You kill them off. A new crack epidemic is coming to black America, something like you've never seen before. You better get ready. And we are still disorganized. What did I tell you? You need power to get justice. You need power to get justice. You need power to get justice. And you can't get power without organization. Jackson, Mississippi. Next Thursday, African Art Gallery. Shreveport, Louisiana. Next Saturday, Southern University in Shreveport. Savannah, Georgia, Wednesday the 23rd, location coming soon, Jacksonville, Florida, Thursday the 24th, location coming soon. This is the Prince of Pan-Africanism, and it is time to understand, overstand, and understand. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism, Pan-Africanism by any means necessary, Black Power.